Uh, my name is Desiree Muzu and this is click number four, or vlog number four, whatever. Uh, it's really out windy out here. I'm in the middle of uh, Chilliwack. I'm near the Vetter River. And basically uh, I'm trying to vlog every other day if I can, or every couple days, so I have at least three vlogs in a week. Here you go, Denver, let's see, let's see. I think that the easy answer is, it doesn't matter what camera you have for Instagram. Um, to an extent, whatever you shoot with, whatever you f photograph with, you know, you, you can post on Instagram. That's the beauty of it. But there is one thing that uh, you probably should look at, and that's how quickly can you post it? You know, because ultimately, you know, we want to post things in the now. And that's kind of the fun of Instagram is that, or any, you know, or any medium is that you can post stuff or you can take a picture and if you can post it right away, it works really good. And that's why iPhones or Samsungs or any kind of mobile phone that's got a good camera or the new Pixel, for example, um, these phones are really fantastic because they do give you some great, great um, tools to be able to photograph simple, simple things or, you know, complex things and make it look amazing. And if you have a Lightroom subscription, or even if you've got, um, or maybe you use VSCO uh, filters, or you use, um, uh, what's a good one, Snapseed is really good too. If you use these filters, you can actually, you know, um, enhance your photos in a way that really makes them shine on Instagram. Uh, you know, whether it's your selfie, or whether it's just a landscape photo, or whatever subject it is that, that you're into. If you're using a DSLR, or if you're using a full frame camera, whatever the case may be, or you're using a Micro Four Thirds camera like I use, uh, the GH4 currently, and the Lumix brand, or Olympus, or whatever, it's the ability to have Wi-Fi capability. Now, uh, that's really great. If you can do that, that's fantastic for a, a camera that's not necessarily working with a device that's, um, you know, used on the internet, like an iPad, a computer, right away, you can transfer that image onto your phone via Wi-Fi connected connectability or Bluetooth and or NFC, and it'll you can post it right away. Do your edits on the phone and you post it. I mean, obviously you don't wanna do that if you're gonna be doing big prints or you wanna sell these prints or use it for your own personal collection. You know, you can use it, but it's probably better for you to work with raw. But that's, I think, what you need to look at if you're talking about truly getting something where you like to post every day or every other day, but you don't want to have to spend the time on the computer for doing that. You want to do the posts, and then later on, you can take a look at your photos and have a good workflow on your system. Probably that's the best thing, that's the most, the key criteria of um, uh, any camera that you're going to purchase. It doesn't matter what brand it is. If it doesn't have Wi-Fi right now, however, if you have an older camera just remember if it's being able to transfer through a USB cord you can find adapters that will work with your phone and if your phone's able to read that it's it's connected to a PC or a camera is what it's assuming it is and it imports photos then you're golden now Apple does that really really simply I don't know about any other other phones I'll have to look at that I'm sure they do um, and I'm not sponsored by Apple or any other <laughs> camera out there uh, but yeah that's that's my click number four um, and you know it just it just occurred to me because I've been seeing a lot of posts about that and ultimately that's I think the biggest takeaway for buying a camera you got to think about what you're doing with it if you're somebody who likes to go out and print um, prints from 35 millimeter film well that's not gonna matter to you uh, you're, you're more interested in the longer process um, and the journey into rendering uh, beautiful pictures now, I'm not saying that the beautiful pictures can't happen over Wi-Fi. I'm just saying that's your method. All right, that's my vlog for now, and I'm gonna continue to run my dog out, because he needs it, and I do too. I'll run after the ball later. All right, that's it. Uh, this is Desiree Muzu with Click Critic, and host of Liked Your Photo, and this is click number four.